What's up StarCraft fans, you're watching a COP mutation, I am CDG, and it is still Dark Ritual on Temple of the Past, or Boot Town. <laughs> I'm playing the Sims Artanis, you see my uh, masteries over there? Ah, I missed it. Anyway, I'll have uh, Guardian Shell, uh, Speed Increase, and Chrono Boost. So uh, we'll have Speed Freaks and Power Overwhelming. Our ally this time is Terran, playing as Zagata. Got a look of fun to him. By the way, uh, I got a question earlier this earlier today uh, asking how I got my mouse my cursor to be so big so I'm gonna answer it right now so you'll have more uh, more time to qu to answer questions tomorrow so basically there's a setting in the options that I can use to change my cursor this big I think it's a gameplay it's under gameplay start a next say start a gateway over there more minerals for that. So I'm gonna go for a fast two zealots here, and a single simulator. I think uh, I think this way is pretty good uh, to get a fast expansion. My ally is going for spawning pool. I hope. Yeah, he does go for spawning pool. So I'm gonna wait for my. Oh, I should actually send my pro over there. So to line it properly, I should have my. Pylon starting when my gateway is 40 seconds in, and that is the way to make the pylon line up perfectly with the gateway. You can see they're both finishing at the same time, and that's going to allow me to get a zealot while changing up my power field. So I'm going to get another assimilator here. I'm currently boosting my gateway so I can get another zealot, like so. That will allow me to get a really fast expansion. The reason I want to warp them close to my rocks is that they have speed increase mastery, so they're gonna attack faster while they have that. So I'm also gonna get probes in my gas rocks. Or my gas, my assimilator rather. Gas rocks. Got messed up since I was looking at the rocks. Anyway, I'm gonna send a probe now. Start a cybernetics core and then a nexus as soon as these rocks go down okay and five more minerals and there we go three minutes three minutes in the enemy is going to be zealots so at least it's not failing scourge that's good news I'll probably go for a tempest this game if the enemy is Terran, I can immediately tell if it's ground or air. That'll allow me to immediately determine if I should go for immortals. If the enemy is Zerg, we can see if it's ground or air. If it's Zerglings, the enemy is air. If it's Roaches, the enemy is ground. So that'll determine if we're gonna go for the composition that we will. But for Poros, it's usually safer to go for Tempests. Because whether they're ground or air, Tempests will hit hard. Thing is, do they hit hard enough? And that's not necessarily their initial damage up, it's just that they, uh, they, over they often overkill the enemy. They're g they often waste so much of their damage up uh, in wasted shots. For example, Tempests take a while to shoot. But even if, even if the enemy is... Uh, even if the enemy has one health remaining, it'll still take the same cooldown It'll still take the same cooldown to attack it. As why Tempests uh, are often wasteful in their damage output. Okay, let's try to rush these outs in so I can take out the probes. Of course, the plan is to clear out these bases as early as possible so that they won't be able to spawn additional static defense when we inevitably go for these, uh, these enemies here. I get a fleet beacon so I can... Uh oh. Alright, what are you doing there? Allied forces are under attack. Alright. Okay. Let's keep saturating our mineral line. And of course we won't, we won't get frozen. Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh, I missed it. Allied forces are under attack. I was supposed to hit everything, every one of these guys with uh, solar bombardment. Detected. Marking location now. Should probably get some dragoons here, just so I can time it properly. 
Oh man, it oh man, that was that was a waste. We're done with it. Excellent. Oh. It will soon be ready for activation. Oh, that is so annoying. I basically wasted that solo bombardment. It's a five minute cooldown. Which, by the way, why does it have to be five minutes? Time stop is four minutes. Space station is four minutes. Or is it five? Yeah, anyway. It doesn't have to be five. I think four minutes is fine for time stop or for solo bombardment. Of course, it could be wrong. Yes, we currently boost our allies. Oh, there's another attack right there. Let's kill these scouts. Well, Overload Strike is really not that great. If I were to, su to just to suggest a buff, since our Tannis is solar, or since our Tannis is Orbital Strike, costs twice as much as characters, maybe he should have twice the area, or at least twice the damage. Since as it is, 500 damage. Not that great for 50 energy. I don't think it's that worth it. Avoid okay, we have a, ah, you must end its assault. just barely. That that Allied targeting thing for attack. for the pilot field is a little annoying to use. And you can see here that point defense the drones make the make uh, using there. tempest difficult because the cooldown. Anyway, we're gonna take out that Zenith Stone while I get the level two weapons upgrade. There we go. We have two more Zenith Stones to address. Okay, let's uh, get another probe. This one's gonna be our building probe. I said I said a different hotkey. Oh, well, I'll have to use. Okay, I'll have to wait for. Okay, my ally has it, but I'm still gonna use all the strike. Ah, moving targets are so annoying to deal with. Oh, such a waste. Oh, brother, Shrek is so annoying to use. Good thing that Tempest is way too fast for that. For that. Seeker missile. Okay, we have about slightly more than a minute left before a little bombardment. When they use it. As soon as possible. Good. A challenge. Okay, let's see what the enemy is. Allied forces are under attack. You seek our need. Let's use these tempests. Oh, black Allied fungal. Oh man, this is gonna be painful. I mean, this is already painful. Scouts are really good. Oh man, they pulled. They pulled these back. Oh. One thing I definitely don't want to do is reset my Tempest count. I'm not supposed to lose these things as our tactics, they cost 200 gas a piece. Oh. Oh. I need to keep him there. That's a really good spot for Slow Bombard, but I need to keep him there. A few more seconds. Come on! Oh. Oh, Slow Bombard. Oh, that first one. Oh. Man, everything is so... Oh, now I'm down to two Tempests. Oh, maybe I should restart or something. Yeah, Tempest cost 200 gas each, and unless you're playing as, with this one ally, they're gonna be really difficult to replace. You generally don't want to lose any Tempests. And so far they've lost about 8 or something. This is really painful at this stage of the game. Okay, there's gonna be another attack wave. Come on. Come on, we need to get here. Oh, I need to keep these things alive. Oh, I lost another one. Pull back. Our Tannis is so difficult to use. Point defense drones as well. Really? Maintain our defenses, commanders. Okay, here's a plan. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save my tempest. I'll try to use it as little as possible. 
that's why that's why I'm getting so little gas. Okay, pull back the hurt ones. There we go. Slay it before it deals too much damage. Okay, let's run in. What's here? Oh, a single point defense drone. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother engaging that. I think my ally has it. Titus is so slow though. It's weird that other commanders who are already strong, like Nova, like Kerrigan, they also have an excellent mobi mobility option, but Artanis does not. Artanis is so slow, especially in the map like Temple of the Past. It's easy to get tricked into thinking that it's a defensive mission, so it's easy to scramble forces all around the map, but it's actually quite big. You don't need to scramble them at different quarters, at, at different uh, points in your base. You need to scramble them at different quarters of the map, basically. Okay. Okay. So I'm starting to rebuild my Tempest count. Something I really don't want to keep losing. Hey, I think I'm about six, 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 seven Tempests. Okay, the nice thing about Tempest is that they do have a lot of armor. So that those psionic orbs are not going to do a lot for them. Now we need to rush our Zealots to this Void Thrasher to make sure it doesn't deal too much damage. We're going to use another Pea Shooter to take out this single Photon Cannon. You see how not worth that is? 50 energy for a single for a single Photon Cannon. It's really garbage. I need to use Zealots for that. The Zena stones have been destroyed. There we go. Regrettable, but necessary. So far, Zagar has been really carrying me here. But Void Thrasher slain. I think this is the Hybrid detected. the middle Thrasher. Yeah, we had Hybrid. we had warpins. We had warpins instead of the warp prisms. That means I'm gonna have a middle Thrasher to deal with. It's probably better to save this solar bombardment. I know I'm against using solar bombardment as a as a, as a panic button, but uh, in this case, I'm not. I'm really not using it as a panic button. I uh, I know that there's a, there's a hybrid spawn coming up in a minute, and that's going to have a lot of hybrid nemesis. And I need to preserve my force as much as possible, which is why I'm saving the solar bombardment just for that. You see, I'm saving it. I'm saving it, but I know where I'm going to use it. Not like uh, a panic button where I don't know where I'm gonna use it, and I, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. If I if I'm using it as a panic button, I don't intend to use it, but I'm only gonna use it if I if I'm in a hairy situation. Whereas in this in this case, I know I know where I'm gonna use. It. I know that I will use it. It's just that the case has not arrived yet. Looks like, yeah, there it is. Okay, we're gonna wait for the hybrid nemesis. We're gonna bait them in. Okay, the hybrid's at the back there. So we're gonna use it right now. No, 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 there we go. Yeah, kill those things. All right, woo! That was really awesome. <laughs> See, that's, uh, that's how to smartly save your your top bars. Not as a panic button, but you know where to use it and when to use it. I split off of that. I, the one, I really don't need to lose all my Tempest all over again. Okay, so there's going to be another attack wave here and there's going to be another attack wave at the rear. So I better point my ally. I'm only at 14 Tempests, which is not that great. My ally needs to go there. Because there's going to be another hybrid wave. Okay, we're slowly building up our Tempest count, which is good. Obviously, it could have been way better. It should be a, uh, it should be at about 30 Tempests now, but... Well, we just need to deal with whatever we are given. We're not really losing that. We're not really losing yet. We're still at almost 3,000. Oh, oh. How overwhelming is really annoying to deal with. All my tempests are red again. I'm, I've lost. Oh, I'm losing my tempest again. Uh... Imam shall die. Split, split. Lost another one. We have slain a void thrasher. 
Okay, let's kill those. You know what, we need to focus fire these hybrids. Yeah, right. shift click on those individually. To make sure they don't receive any more damage than they need to. And I'm getting a bunch of photon cans over there because A, I'm floating excess minerals, and B, I need, I need, I need anti air. There's going to be a hybrid spawning there. I avoid back here spawning there. And a lot of enemy units. So now that we've cleared out the lanes, I'm able to camp this location. I'm also getting more Tempests. I'm not doing that well. I'm only at 115 supply, but so far, you're still. I think he's. I think Ally is wasting so many of these. Uh, so many of the scourges. But I. But my Tempest will get here in time. There's still 20 seconds remaining. My probe is also going to be able to get there in time to build those cannons. Just getting ready. Okay. All right. We're back up to 16 Tempests. Preparations are nearly complete. Now let's set, set a power a field there to temporarily provide pilot or to provide Little power to my we cannons. Hold, brothers. More Tempests. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. It didn't even do that much damage. Okay, let's take out these, these scouts. These scouts are really the ones that are dealing a lot of damage to my Tempests. Uh oh. Is my ally dealing with that pressure? I'm also preparing for the last wave. I'm already camping that spawn here. Uh, or that spawn there. Okay, I'm up to 17 Tempests. I actually should I actually should split my Tempests so that they don't get hit with so much area damage. Because the area damage has been really hurting me here. The black hole, the fungal. It's individually small, but it stacks up. And remember, all enemies are cast spellcasters. Okay, we're not gonna use our solo bombardment here. This is gonna be the last wave, and that's where we will use our last solo bombardment. Again, we're saving it, but not as a panic button. We know exactly where and when we will use it. And that is the difference between using this panic button and saving it smartly. Okay. Okay, good. We didn't lose that many. We're still at a relatively decent count of tempests, and all we need to do now is split our split up our tempests. So that they're able to deal with the last wave effectively. We do have Solo Bar ready for this last wave. And all our ally needs to do is hold this, his side of the map. Okay, it was a bit hairy to start, but I've recovered. I've regained my composure. Uh, we need to, okay, Solo Bar now! Alright, we need to keep it there. I'm gonna warp it uh, singles out there, just to keep the enemy standing there. Okay. Okay, I've dealt with Okay, that's beautiful. I've dealt with I've dealt with my corner of the map. All I need to do now is help my ally deal with his. And I think we we do have this mission. We do have this mission wrapped up. All we need to do now is complete it. And defend our ally. Oh. oh I need to use it. Oh I need to hit those. I think I hit some of those. But yeah, moving moving targets is so annoying to deal with. Okay. Few more. Yeah, I think yeah, we definitely have this. My allies losing his base, but he still has another one at the north, so this it's gonna be bearable. Ten seconds remaining. And we just have to clear out these last things. It's fine. Yeah, we will clear them out fully. Alright. Oh, there are a few more remaining. There are a few more remaining there, but yeah, we did clear it. And I hope you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. If you have an idea for it, also do, please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score screen. I'm gonna get that EXP. Level 300. Ooh, I did, I did slightly more. It's it's actually pretty even. I had slightly, mo slightly more kills, but if I didn't time those, if I didn't time those solo bombards properly, it would have been double of kills. Look at that, damage to the of a dude, and then, <laughs> look at that. My shield overcharge benefited him more than it did benefit me. Alright, see you.